Hello, everybody. You're listening to the subtle tones of uh, Someday, a game by Jojo Gape, which was released it was really a while ago, but it's it's one of the games that I guess could be considered complete, which is which is cool. Also, because the author involved with this game um, like quit their quit everything and said, I'm not doing RPG Maker anymore. Fuck you, RPG Maker. I'm on to bigger and better things. From the readme, there's the, the following. Uh, warning, there are flashing lights at some points. If you think you may be sensitive to this for your own safety, please refrain from playing and watching this, I guess, by extension. Contains blood, horror, partial nudity, flashing lights, again, and loud noises. <sighs> I'm sold. I'm sold. Let's go. I don't know much about this at all, other than that it sounds quite interesting and from my brief testing it looks okay. So what do we need to do? Enter the bed, some characters, equip effects, get feet, save, check the window. Check the window. I can do that. A storm's brewing. And I guess this is this is us then, is it? This is our little protagonist. Well, wow, okay. Good. Already I quite like the, the art style of this. It's very... Now, of course, of course he wouldn't go outside. That's mental. I quite like that. That's quite cool. So I guess he's would go outside because it's rainy. I kind of like being outside when it's rainy. I, I, I'm not a fan of getting wet, but I like the rain. It's too hot at the moment. Oh wow. Bloody hell. This is a lot of doors. Uh, decisions, decisions. How many have we got? How many have we got? There's not that many. What about this one? Binary. Good. So, um, you know how I said that my Yeti was working? Well, it is working, but I, I now seem to have broken my headset. Uh, it is very flaky. Very, very flaky. Which I am not terribly happy about. Because this thing isn't that old. I've only had it probably about six months. So it'll be getting fucking warranted. What was that noise? It's just annoying that like these things just... I mean, I had the same Logitech headset God, for fucking fucking ages and ages and it was fine and then I, I, I broke it I properly broke that though it broke like oh, it fell to bits this hasn't fallen to bits it's just a failure with the cable oh gosh you're not selling yourself to me right now game oh, not with this oh jeez come on I suppose at least it's reasonably chilled out. And now we are on a giant Satsuma. So, um, what to what to really say about this? As I said, this is completely blind. Um, and I'm really I'm I'm just kind of trying out different stuff that's that's been created. So this is this is um, English. It's not a, it's not a Japanese game, which is cool. Not I've got anything about Japanese games, but I like um, you know the kind of the idea of having different sources, different cultures that are that are making things, and it's it's kind of been suggested that it has a slightly different. I mean, this is this is already quite appealing. It, it looks nice, certainly graphically. It's it's one of the better ones that we've played. That's for sure. And it seems like um, seems like Overdrive perhaps is a little too Spartan in terms of stuff. So, I mean, I don't want to have a million different fan games running at once because I think that's just yeah. I see you down there. Do you know this kind of reminds me of um, Earthbound or something? Something about the aesthetic here. Perhaps not the sandy. Things, whatever these are. Take that sandy thing. As I said, we get feats. Do we have to eat all the sandy creatures? 
Yeah. The green pass. Oh, Jesus Christ. I gotta turn that... I gotta turn that down just ever so slightly. Because it's quite loud. What's going on here? Yeah, it's not... I... I... I as I was trying to say, I'm trying to look for... No? I'm trying to look for some new... dreamy stuff. Um... That is a little bit unusual. Because I feel a little bit, kind of... Stagnant. Like, the, 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 the formula for a lot of fan games and stuff is just really, really tired and I just... I just want something that's a bit different. And if you have, if you guys have any suggestions, I know there's various suggestions people have made over the years. I need to try and collate them all again because modern YouTube comments just doesn't make that the easiest process. But um, you know, you guys have, have suggested things before. I was in Midlands was a suggestion which I thoroughly enjoyed, and that definitely, in my mind, fits the bill of being vaguely like kind of a Yuminiki game, but also at the same time being a completely eccentric creation of its own right. Perfect. And if you guys have suggestions like that, you know, fucking fire them over. I'm gonna try and get um, some plans in motion. Now that we're on the, the, the far side of the 100th th th episode of Tuki, I have some, I have some big plans for things, but I'm not gonna say too much about that yet. Not right now. Because right now we're, we're just destroying all these beautiful sand sculptures. Why? Well, I don't need to justify myself. I don't like the way they look at me. I don't like the way they look in general. They just look like evil little things. It's a weird looking rock. A rock cock. Yeah, what was it? Rain. Yeah, I'd, I'd happily take rain over, over like beating sunshine. It's like the, the other night here, it was just roasting hot. I hated it. I just, I just couldn't do anything. Um, I don't understand the question, if I'm, if I'm honest. Uh, you don't have enough N. Well, fuck me. What do I need to do to get more N? Where's my N? I can see an E. I can see hero. I didn't say anything about N in there. I guess N is our money. But we have no money. We have nothing. We have nothing at the moment. We have no effects. It certainly isn't like bloody overdrive. Where it's like we're just tripping over the bloody things. Can't move from all these flipping effects. Instead we're just... We're just destroying sand sculptures that have been... Crafted thousands of years ago by ancient aliens. Ancient aliens, now there's something I need to do again. Ancient aliens was good fun, wasn't it? No? Okay. Right, well, I'm gonna do it anyway, because we gotta keep we gotta represent the Doom the Doom Frontier. It's part of my mission objective. We gotta we gotta keep we gotta keep the Doom keep the Doom alive. I still haven't played the new Doom either. Maybe I could do that. Oh, my computer is kind of a bit shit these days. My monitor's broken as well. I'm a, so my headset and my monitor is, is broken. One of these things I think I could sort reasonably quickly, but the other one's a bit more complicated. Oh, this is going to take us back to that silly maze, isn't it? Uh, I, I don't know if I like the sound of that. We'll give it, we'll give it, we'll give it a minute. Let's try this one. No. We came in with this one. It's not really a maze, I think. It's just... Just teleporter based. But we gotta... This is this game's golden opportunity to imprint itself as, as being quality, so I hope it doesn't squander it. But it might do. Mainly because when I play a game, I, I, I just kind of model through it and generally don't get it. Does it always 
Oh, Jesus. Uh, this one. That was not the right answer. That may have been the right answer. What does all this binary mean? Okay, we're, we're in the spooky forest. You might have overheard at one point as well, I was talking about making a game. I will confess that my motivation sometimes to work on side projects does does falter, especially considering I, I program for a living and then actually trying to muster up the the will to, to continue doing that in my own time can be tricky, but it's not something that I've forgotten about. Not at all. I want to get down there. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Well done. I wonder what this guy's name is. I'm going to call him... I'm assuming it's a guy. It's the most male or perhaps masculine uh, protagonist we've had yet. Let's get a good look at you. Is that a cross he's got on us? I don't know. Kind of looks like he could be like a member of the Beatles or something with his his funky hair. I say funky hair again compared to most of the protagonists that we come across in these games. They ain't funky. Go up. We need to get to the boxes. Get to the fucking boxes. Come on, little Ringo Star. Come on. Come on, just just go up. Just go up. I guess we need to be able to jump. Oh shit, and there's my headphones going. I need to keep fiddling with the cable. I need to get it sitting just right, otherwise I only get mono sound. This is fucking... Ah. Are these bushes, or are they just like... They look, oh, what's that? Come here, thing. It's a, it's, a, it's a bee. Good. Good. I'm a fan of bees. They make honey. Oh man, I've got honey as well. I could have some honey. Come here, bee. Yes. That's an endorsement of my plan for eating honey. Um, a weird sort of ambience around here. I don't know if I should be at ease or alert. Am I going to get bee beehive bedlamed? We get rushed by a big, a big rush of bees. But at least this seems to be paced just about right. Because as, as I said in the um, not Overwatch video, what's that? The Overdrive videos. The Overdrive doesn't seem to be paced right at all. There's just so much time you spend running about in massive empty areas. Let's follow these little footprints. Fox. Interact with ledges to jump over them. Come here, Fox. Oh, he's fucking furry now. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's... Yiftacular. Good. Well, I'm glad we could go up here and interact with these boxes. Quite an I like that idea. I like the idea that the um, effects and things can be based around relatively basic principles. Got no idea if that's something that's going to continue, but I like the, I like the idea of that. You know, often they're... The, the effects in fan games are things that are very um, esoteric. I don't know. They, they have, you know, they, they sometimes don't necessarily reflect what they actually do or how you would expect something to, to work. Or they might just be kind of there for their own sake. This appeals to me a little bit because at least it's. Okay, yeah, it's because uh, deep down I'm fucking. fucking. Furry fuck face. Oh, Jesus, I can't believe it. First with a stupid wolf effect, and then we got this. Let's get. What did that say? Boxes can jump high. 
I don't know if that's based on actual research of foxes or not. I'm not sure foxes can jump high. Can they? I know they can scream. I know they can make horrific noises and they can beat up the local cats. But I don't know if they can jump really high. Maybe, maybe they can. This one can. That's not really a fox, is it? It's just, it's just a guy. It's just a guy wearing some ears and a tail. That does not a fox make. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm done with this area. Let's... Yeah, let's do that. I don't know. You've accomplished a new feat. Good, good. Well, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. This is your, this is your prime, your prime time someday. Well, now we just gotta figure out where the fuck to go now. Let's go in this one. It's very purple. Purple is a good color. Purple is the most regal of colors. It, uh, it makes you seem like you're royalty. Well, at least I like to think so. Hmm. Branching paths. Okay. Kind of looks like an owl. Fucking god damn it. Damn it. Damn it all. Hmm. Right. Okay. Okay. We can, we can do this. We can do this. God, when you move with the background, it's a little bit fucking weird. Oh, Jesus. I'm so bad at mazes. People have been asking if I'm gonna if I'm gonna finish um, Yumi Tiki or if there's an ending. It's a good question. It's a very good question. I do know though that it is vaguely controlled by the amount of wallpapers you have. Uh, yes. I keep getting distracted and talking about fucking other shit. We should be talking about this. We're in a, a swamp. And I have to say that, so far, I like the aesthetics of it. I haven't had any nudity. Well, I suppose I could be nude. Maybe that would be the, the partial nudity that we're talking about. I'm not. I'm not partially nude anyway. But the, the aesthetics of it are nice. And the music has done a pretty good job of not murdering me. And this guy... I mean, sure, he's a furry, but I mean, hey, nobody's perfect, right? Nobody's, nobody's completely 100% there, especially not when you're sitting playing fucking Yumi Nikki fan games or making Yumi Nikki fan games. Hmm. Now we just need to figure out what we're doing in this stinky old sewer. We need to explore around. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Good. Good. Take the pipe. We're going to find some uh, turtles. And some mutant turtles. That'd be good. I need to sleep. Don't tell me what to do. I do what I want, man. I do what I want, man. What was think? Oh, shit. What I was thinking about the other day that I thought could be quite good fun is um, obviously we were at the, the 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 dawning of VR. Wow, this is fucking crazy, isn't it? Do you guys think of uh, furries? No, I'm not interested. Um, we're at the kind of the dawning of uh, VR, and I wonder how long it's going to be until we see essentially a Yumi Nikki fan game that uh, requires a VR that would be, you know, like some kind of immersive experience. Jesus Christ. Can we go in here then? Oh, okay, I guess this must be like some kind of in scenario. We need to perhaps get effects or something to open this up. It's a bit too happening. And my fucking headphones have gone mono again. Um, yeah, VR. Imagine if you had like this game, but it was all done in VR. But I mean, that's 
it does significantly increase the initial skill required to to make your to make your fan game. The perspective here is really funky. I really like it actually. It's it's really unusual because everything's at a much higher a higher angle. This area doesn't seem that big. We just need to find whatever the gimmick is. Is this the one we came in? Nope. Nope. Can we go in here? Nope. Nope. Well, it's obviously signs that Bubsy Bobcat has been around here as well. Look at all these little exclamation marks. Fuck off, Bubsy. We've got enough furries already. You don't need, don't need more fucking... Fucking... Bubsy Bobcat. I quite like that game. Actually, Bobcat... Uh, Bob, Bobcat. Bubsy. What could possibly go wrong? Well, come on, right, we gotta be able to do something here. All these people are hanging around in this street for a reason. All these people who are switching between being old and young and even um, between being men and women. So that's the way we came, we came in. Come on, come on, what you got for me? What you got for me? Surely there wouldn't be an area like this that just... Just has nothing. Nothing of interest in it. Nothing of value. Well, that would be disappointing, wouldn't it? We can't open this, can we? Are we going to be able to kill these guys at some point? Are we going to get a weapon? We must do. We must do. It's, it's like the unwritten rule. Come on. Come on then. What about in here? No. Okay, well I think we've I think we've done all of this. So let's maybe go back. Oh dear. I'm drinking a lot of water these days. Very boring. Cause I don't I don't drink fizzy drinks. I don't I don't like fizzy drinks. I made a coach's decision a while ago to stop drinking fizzy drinks. Kinda limits the what's this? Come here. What a fucking noise you make. Holy balls. Don't ever talk to me like that again. What colour of eyes has he got? Are they blue? They look like little blue eyes. Why did they always have such fucking noisy shoes on? If I had squeaky shoes like the fucking characters and fan games, I'd be like, boy, I need to get some new fucking shoes. Oh, wow. Under the sea? I gotta say right away that I, I think this game's miles ahead of some of its competition in terms of the art style. It is. It is just blowing me away with it, in fact. And the music is also not offensive. Always a plus. It's really chill. I wonder what the music's from. I wonder if it's the author, jo what's his name? Mojo Jojo. Jojo something. It was Jojo, wasn't it? Jojo. We'll say Jojo. We'll say it was Jojo. I know at least that bit was right. I always think that these guys who, you know, they're kind of like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not savant. Like, they have all these talents that they can just spread. Like, if you think Kikiyama of um, Yumi Nikki, he made the whole game himself. And this is funky, isn't it? Okay, good. It flashes. It's not an effect. I was hoping it would be an effect. Can we jump over it? No, don't do that. Um, okay, I guess we need something to proceed past this point. Uh, yeah, you see, you think like Kikiyama and various other people who've... Actually, before we do, what's over here? Nothing. 
and yeah, so the various other people that work on fan games, and I, I mean primarily the good ones, not so much the ones that are kind of crap, but you know, they have to be multifaceted in terms of their skill, unless it's a community project, but it means that, you know, these guys, you know, they must, they must have such creative drive. I wish I had that. It's I find it really, really difficult, so I can only, I can only commend them for it. You know, having the focus and the drive and the vision to, to put all this together. Wow. You're going to offer me drinks, aren't you? These are different drinks, though. Fruits. The other lime. I don't have any in. I have two out of five, though. Oh, no. We're not, we're not done. Come on. We need to talk to this girl. Diving suit. Excellent. She's not, she doesn't look like she's wearing a diving suit. She just kind of looks like she's a bit of a weirdo. You know, let's get a good look at you. Maybe that is a diving suit. I don't know. Let's go in this little house. Okay. Spook, a spoopy cave. Oh dear. This looks... Like the kind of thing that's gonna get me fucking lost. But we we can do it. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. I'm just you just need to believe. You just need to believe and close your eyes. I think we might have just gone in a big circle. This looks like a big door here. This one. Aha! Uh -huh. Yep. Yep. Look at this. Fox to the rescue. Can't let you do that, Fox. Look at that, I made a reference. That kind of looks like a little head or something. Hmm. wonder how many of you have been playing Pokemon Go. I've been not playing it like a fucking massive hipster. Well, that's not true. I, I do have kind of reasons for it, but I seem to be unable to have Avoid it most of the time. Have we just gone in a big circle? I think we have, haven't we? Fuck's sake. Alright, okay. It's been a little bit more time in there, and I think we're probably going to call it a day before it. Get well out of my depth. Get too absorbed. So what do these boxes do? They must do something. I'm, I'm going to assume that we're going to get an effect or something that will allow us to open boxes. Some kind of box cutter, maybe. Yeah, okay, maybe I shouldn't be the one who's trying to suggest how fan games should be made. Yeah, here's it make made. Here's an idea for an effect, a box cutter. Yeah, that's that's, that's a good uh it's a good one, relatable. Everyone will be able to relate to that. Everyone everyone knows how to cut boxes. They'll love you for that. Oh I think we'll find a way out. Hooray! Okay. This is similar to that other bit, but not quite the same. I guess it's just going to connect to it, though. Yeah, don't don't talk to me like that. These guys are cats. I wonder if they react. No, they don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. They just make irritating noises. Oh, that's quite cool. There's like a reflection of something on the on the water. It's very peaceful around here. Very very pretty very pretty. Almost has a sort of a, a Neftelia vibe around it. Sort of somewhere between abstract and fleshed out. Hey, what's going on here? Come here. Wow, this guy's place is like glitchy as shit. Everything's all shaking about all over the place. What's this? Uh, if you calm down for just one second, sir. Oh, Jesus. He doesn't like us, does he? 
What if we use the diving suit? Nothing puts me at ease more than a, a diving suit. Okay, let's get out of here. Before we go fucking mental. Well, that was quite good fun, wasn't it? Oh. What's going on over here? Well, let's... More of these little cat guys. What are you doing, you little, you little catty bastards? I guess this is going to be down into the crazy room again. I don't understand the significance of this. But I want to see something if, because we've got a couple of effects that might have changed. No. I guess the thing above the door corresponds to which area we've come from. Okay, 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 let's get out of here. And let's wake up. Full. Oh. Tear down all the fulgur. Fulgurites. Fulgurites. What's a fulgurite? I don't know, it sounds delicious though. Good. Okay. Wow. Wow, okay. A beefy first impression has to, has to be said. What's Zapnef? Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, look at this. We are, we are Zapnef. Look at us. We're, we're the fucking, the, the Zapnef from, from the future. It's kind of difficult to see the fuck is, oh, it is. It's like a platformer. It's, oh, Jesus. Can we just jump? I just want to jump. Jump, jump. Oh. Come on, Zapnef. Come on, Zapnef. We can do this. Come on, Zapnef. Just, just focus. Just focus in. If you get to the end, there'll be... Oh, Jesus. That's... I need to not do that. So we can't... We, it doesn't look like we can jump. Hmm. How are you supposed to get past the fucking... Um... Um... Okay. Okay, I've had enough zap there. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's just fucking... Let's just save the game. Okay! So that was, um... That was someday. We might continue this someday. <laughs> World play. Word play. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody.